I'm not a good driver. I hit stuff. Cars. Primarily. You know, I, I, I spend a lot of money on insurance, but I use it. I mean, like, <laughs> my friend was like, Greg, I've never been in one accident in my entire life. I'm like, well, how do you know your insurance works? Like, <laughs> mine works uh, over time, you know? Like, I, I pay a lot. I should pay a lot, but, but I want more from my insurance company. First of all, they say they're going to send you an insurance card. Stop calling it a card. It's a piece of paper, okay? I want a card. $3,500 I gave you guys last year. You can afford to send me a card. At least laminate the card. The library laminates their cards. I don't think the whole library system made $3,500 last year. They don't send you a card. They send you a piece of paper, and it's got a dotted line on it with a picture of a scissors. No, no, no. You cut it. I'm not cutting it. Not for $3,500. You can hire a couple of cutters up there for that kind of money. And if I do cut it, I'm not cutting on that stupid line. I'll cut whatever shape happens to come out. The cop's gonna be like, can I see your insurance? Swan, is that a swan? Is that what that is? Sir? Did you make a swan, son? If you get a piece of paper in the mail and it's got a picture of a scissors on it, just know you're doing business with some greedy dirt bags. At least back in the day, they did a thing called perforation. Perforation. Remember that? That was their way of saying, hey, we're not gonna cut it, but we'll get you started. You know, it, it, was, it, it was a fair deal. Each side gave a little bit. You felt like you were being treated like a customer. There is no more perforation. It doesn't exist. The only thing left that's perforated is toilet paper, and I'm telling you right now, if Charmin starts putting scissor pictures on their product, I'm gonna have a real problem with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's where I draw the line. And I'm not talking about a dotted line. <laughs> Somebody in here is old enough to remember they would give you a card. Every six months, the insurance company would send you a plastic card. It looked like a credit card. You, you put it in your wallet, you felt like a man. Now if I get pulled over, I have to unfold a little piece of paper. It looks like a note from my mom. Like, Please excuse Gregory from any bad driving. He lacks concentration, but he's a nice boy. It's a note from my dad at the bottom. He doesn't lack concentration, Colleen. He lacks brains. He's an idiot. He can't drive. They're just greedy. They're greedy, you know? Hey, this is uh, Stan in finance, and I was running the numbers, and uh, we only made $178 billion last year. We're gonna have to save some money somewhere. Here's what I'm gonna do. No more plastic. Send them paper. Put, put a scissor picture on there. They think they're doing a craft project. <laughs> then, a couple years later, hey, it's Stan, I got a better idea. Don't send them paper. Send them an email. <laughs> they can use their own paper. <laughs> Pretty soon it's gonna be like, hey, if they want a card, tell them type something up, write the word insurance on the back of a bonnet paper towel. We don't care, we already got their money. Tell them it's for the environment. I read my car insurance card. On the front of it, it says, do not discuss the fault of an accident with anybody except for the police or your insurance agent. And I remembered it, but I got it mixed up with my health insurance card. I was at the doctor, he's like, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm not telling you nothing. I'm not talking. 